Hey guys, welcome back to Third Street Reactions. I'm Tom. Shane. We are back with TMNT Season 4, Episode 15. 15. All right, Shane, the day is saved, at least temporarily. We are back in New York, presumably. Mm -hmm. We've got duplicate turtles, uh, Fugitoid, kind yeah. of... Had a little dark secret he was hiding for a while. I mean, it wasn't. We, we debated that. We didn't really debate it. I think we both were kind of like, yeah, you know, maybe you should have kept the secret, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Definitely not worth mer meriting Leonardo to fly off on a dumb suicide mission and doing nothing except delaying the time, you know, delaying them getting back to Earth to stop them. All right. Didn't love any of that stuff, what they did with that character. But Splinter's alive. Which is good. Splinter's alive, and we didn't talk about this. So, are we presuming that the Triceratons that were there at the mothership, are they all dead? Yeah, they got sucked into the implosion of... What do you think happens to you when that happens? Like, do you just die? Like, do you become nothing? Or are you still... Do you still exist in a, in a physical sense, do you think? Well, it, that's a question that people ask when you go you to a black really hole. You can't really destroy matter, right? At least that's the theory, right? Yes, yeah, you can't destroy matter, but it just transfers, you know, to a different type of energy. So when you get sucked into a black hole, what happens? No one really knows. Right. That's when physics breaks down. It may be an event horizon event or something. Event horizon. Where you can't escape from it, then you just keep getting. You, you actually go in like this, and you get smaller and smaller till you know until you're you're obviously dead. <laughs> Wouldn't that be horrible? I, I think you're dead before that happens. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it would be horrible though. Yeah, I think they're just. Done. I don't know if this show puts puts too much thought into like what happens to them. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. I think I kind of like the Triceratons. I just, Captain Mozart, I think, is hilarious. I like the Triceratons too. It's yeah. So we still think Lord Drake's dead. Really? I think Lord Drake's dead. I think we're not in space anymore. All right. Which definitely means Armor Gun's dead. True. Uh, but we have our past Ninja Turtles going on their space journey. But now, is it the same space journey? Yeah, I don't know. I it's it, it's gotta be different because they have a different reason. Right. It was weird. Is Honeycut coming to Earth when he did before was to like okay, I'm gonna I know what's going on. I'm gonna help you guys. Now it's like, well, why is he coming to Earth? Right. Maybe maybe I'm just not understanding it very well. But to me, it seems a little a little bit of a fallacy. No, I think it lends credence to your theory that they're gonna have a part to play later. Yeah, like they'll come back and yeah. something like that, yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, before we jump in, if you want to support us, check us out on Patreon, leave a comment down below. We have full-length reactions and early access. Let's jump in. Ah, oh, the Big it's Apple. It's been weeks since we saved Earth and stopped the black hole generator. No more Triceratons. And best of all, no more Shredder and his goons. So tonight, Master Splinter is performing a very special initiation. April. April O'Neil, Kiden O, Shinobino Monotoste, Coconi Ninteshi, Honjitsuyori, Bunoichi Ninme Suru. Huh? This tanto represents the dragon. Strong, fierce, intelligent. A dragon not only relies on its physical strength, but its keen intellect as well. Arigato gozaimas. Be at one in spirit and body. Be like the dragon. Hi, Sensei. You are now a Kunoich of the Hamato clan. Very cool. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Time. You did great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> That's decent of them. There we go. Remember when I had a hard time keeping up with you guys? Can't believe I'm finally a full-fledged ninja. Sure, you made it to the third dawn, but there's still seven more grades. Don't rain on her ninja parade, Raph. <laughs> it's amazing you made it to Kunuichi April. Ignore everything Raph just said. Yeah, I always do. Makes life way simpler. Nuggie. Come on, ninjas. Let's call it a night. She has the benefit of having a telekinesis, too. Right. Hmm. You okay, April? What's wrong? I'm pretty certain someone is following us. Oh, look at you! Coochie woochie woochie! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello? What? Whoa. Let's play a game. Give me one of your weapons, or I'll take something precious. Your shells. Hmm. All right, sister. Playtime's over. <laughs> My name is Shinigami. Do you know what my name means? I can't believe you'd hit a lady. 
So you really are real, living, breathing Kappa. <laughs> so cute. You <laughs> play so bad yourself. <laughs> Your testin will do just fine. You're gonna have to get it from me, witch! Who is this? Buxom Burnett. <laughs> <laughs> you must have just become a kunoich. This will do nicely. Itadai de Okua. You fucking... I can't believe that crazy girl took us to school witch. on a Sunday! She was pretty awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, getting my butt kicked the night I become a Kunoichi? It's like the whole universe is saying it's not meant to be. No, that shit. is not the universe speaking. That is the self-doubt of April O'Neil speaking. Yep. I've been there, April. Believe in yourself. I just feel like a failure. There is no such thing as failure until you give up. That is when you fail. Thank you, both. You must He's uncover the identity and allegiance of this new assassin. Claiming your weapon as a prize, that is an initiation into a ninja clan. Be warned. It seems this new assassin may be working for... The Shredder. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> you got anything at all, Donnie? The Shinigami are powerful gods in Japanese myth that bring death and destruction. This girl is super cute, guys. Maybe we could turn her to the light side. We gotta find her first. Let's split up and see if we can track her. Maybe we can draw her out. Ow. Is that her? No sign of any activity. Oh, no. Leo, I just spotted Shinigami. I had a weird vibe that something was happening at Shredder's old lair. Shredder's back? But the lair was abandoned. Not anymore. Call the rest of the guys. Don't do anything something is fishy, isn't it? Yeah. It's for the vote of confidence. Wait for backup, April. No. Karai. Karai. I bring you the redhead girls, Tantoble. So, Splinter finally made April a Kunoich, eh? Kind of a shock. <gasps> well, this Kunoich tracked your butt down, Karai. What are you doing anyway? We'd like to know what's going on here, too. Leo! Calm down. The brainworm that was controlling me is gone. I'm not your enemy. So then why did your crazy friend attack us? It was only a test to see her skills. Shinigami's an old friend from Japan. She was never going to hurt you. At least not permanently. She's telling the truth. That brainworm thing is gone. They're not after us. They're after... Shredder. So what's up with the headgear, princess? Daddy issues? <laughs> I want to rebuild the foot. I'll destroy Orokusaki and his empire once and for all. Life isn't about revenge, sis. Come back to the lair with us. Master Splinter would love to see you. No, I have to carve out my own destiny. Fine, we're leaving. First, I want my Tonto back. Now! If you want it back, take it from her. Fine by me. I wanted a rematch anyway. Jeez, April. Why, you little... <laughs> Why is she dressed like a witch? I'm stopping this. Let her fight her own battles. He's right. Give her the Tonto back. April, you should be ashamed of yourself. Remember she got that from space? Yeah. Come on, this place is lame anyway. We're going to an awesome place. The sewers. Booyah, Kasha. April? What troubles you? I think I'm pretty much ready to revoke the Kunoichi title, Sensei. Maybe I need more training. Come. Perhaps it is time I taught you an advanced move called the Dragon's Tail. <laughs> I'll try anything. Dude, you know what time it is? Time for some Chris Bradford. <laughs> Goodbye, Chris Bradford. Bradford's 
roundhouse kick hyper drink. Drink it! Drink it! Is she still one of us, Tiger Claw? No. The brain worm is gone. She is here to raid us. The little cub has claws. <laughs> I miss Tiger Claw. Me too. I can still see in the dark. So can I. I cannot, so this is kind of upsetting. <laughs> Tell your master I'm taking the city back piece by piece. Where'd she go? They should be able to smell her too. Okay. <laughs> Kitty, kitty. What's this? <laughs> She's a man. Never. Yep, Oh, that shit would hurt. Have you seen uh, Shanghai Noon? Yes, I have. <laughs> oh, that, that was, was a, sweet. That was a good move. She's falling like Rogue in that X-Men picture. I don't know if you've ever seen it. No! Shady! Surrender. Now. You win, Tiger Claw. Oh, yeah, now you want their help, huh? Right. Karai called the turtles minutes ago. You knew all along. Do you take me for a fool? <laughs> there is no help for you. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, Hi, caramba. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, caramba. Child, this world will not mourn you when you are gone. <laughs> Tiger Claw! <laughs> 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 you always have to wait to the last minute. I thought you and Shredder left town. You know, after we defeated you and all? We will never leave until you and Splinter are put to rest. Team, take him down! She's out of Mikey's league. I love Mikey, but. Does she look like an Adams Family chick, kind of? Yeah. Back off, fish face. <laughs> oh, good move by April. <laughs> what? I wish she could probably control it now. <laughs> Your shell will hang in our new lair as a trophy. I don't think so. Nice. Is that the new move she learned? <laughs> wow! Right in the fur patch! The fur patch. This is a kid's show. I hate it when they do that. And we are in trouble. Run! <laughs> oh no. Genie and I want to apologize. Sorry about earlier. Miwa. Father. Do not take on this burden of fighting the Shredder alone. Let us help you. I've grown up, Father. I need to rectify all the wrong deeds Shredder has done. You are just seeking vengeance. This anger you carry was inherited from Orokusaki, not from me. I know. He was an angry guy, too. I'll make you proud of me. Soon. I am already proud of you, my daughter. April. You have proven yourself a true Kunoichi. I always knew you had the dragon spirit, and apparently the dragon's tail as well. It's all thanks to you, Sensei. She had one good kick. She came through in the big moment. I have a bad feeling things are about to take a turn for the worse. That's like the Batman's place in uh, the Snyderverse. Anakin? I don't know if you can hear me, Master. Karai, she is trying to take control of the city, undo everything we have accomplished. She 
if it is a war she wants, it is a war she will get. Oh wow, they're gonna do that now? Oh dude. Okay. That was one of my favorite episodes, I think. That was that was good. It felt like familiar in a good way, but also new. We got a new chick, you know? And you know they made her super sexy, obviously. <laughs> yeah, she I noticed in the opening title, opening song, there's an, a silhouette of her sitting on top of the water tower. I didn't obviously see it. I, yeah. I'll have to look for it again later. Um, yeah, she, so is this a possible uh, love interest for Mikey, do you think? Yeah, maybe. I don't know if they'll go that route. Um, she's something. She's something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I never like when the turtles get kind of beat up by some new character. Now, if she's supposed to be someone who's not even on Karai's level, then how would she do that to the turtles? Right. That's, you know. So, so where, where should it go? Like, should Karai and the Turtles be about even, do you think? Yeah, the Turtles and Karai should be about even. Um, I think the Turtles having a slight edge now, but not always. I thought they, I think they were maybe a little more even at first. And then uh, April and then Casey. Yeah, but then April sometimes will fight Karai, and sometimes April will do really well. And I do understand real fights sometimes can go either way. But... When you watch a show, you gotta scale your power levels with everybody, I think. Like, I remember when we were first introduced to Casey, you're like, there's no way he could have hung with any of the turtles. No way. It's just something they do, which you gotta accept it. But I think um, with her getting taken out before everyone else, it kind of puts her in her place a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, when I play Super Smash Brothers against someone I haven't played before, sometimes I don't do as well. But after a few matches, I, I end up downloading their fighting style, and I end up... Becoming amazing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's just one of those things, like they confronted a new fighter, she had some new tricks with the magic, and but once you learn, okay, her magic is her only trick, then once you learn how to deal with it, she won't be as good. But she seems definitely better than April. <laughs> so, I don't know if you caught this or not, but Tiger Claw... His tail? Like, no, he sniffed, and he was like, she no longer has the brain worm yeah. inside of her. Like, I just thought that was weird that he could like smell that. He could smell that, but he couldn't smell exactly where she was in that warehouse, you know? Yeah. It's, you know, and he was pretty far away when he did that, so, yeah. As I imagine, as a large predatory cat, their sense of smell is impeccable. It's insane. Yeah, yeah. it's insane. Um, no, I agree. I, I really liked episode two. We got this new character. I, I think her name was Shin, Shin, or something like that. Shinigami. Shinigami. Okay, Shinigami. Uh, but obviously, Shredder's still out there. They're giving him what appeared to be the mutagen. We, it seems like Tiger Claw is kind of taken over temporarily until yeah because he was kind of like the second in command he was like the tatsu of the group yeah from tatsu's from the movies but you know cry i think there are iterations where karai takes over the foot clan and stuff like that that does happen there's a lot of like i think things in the turtle mythology that gets recycled in a good way i'm all for it and, and this is the most complete i've ever done of a ninja turtle show funny enough like i grew up in the originals but i had like Five or six VHSs. I like 15 episodes. I watched a million times. I watched the first two movies a million times, and the first and the third movie a million times. This is the most complete Ninja Turtles to me that I've watched all the way through. So, in the hierarchy of us talking about who's the most skilled fighters, we're not putting Karai above Tiger Claw in terms of ability, right? No, I mean when the story is convenient, sometimes it feels like oh, you know, this time they got the better of Tiger Claw. There, there hasn't been a lot of one-on-one -on -one scenarios with Tiger Claw and the Turtles. Who's kind of his rival again? Is it Raph or Leo? I think Leo. I feel. I like. thought Leo... Go I can't remember. Yeah, but it's either one of them. Um, there were times... You know, yeah, Splinter usually fights Shredder, and then maybe Tiger Claw fights Leo, and then Raph fights... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I mean, Tiger Claw, I think, is slightly above Karai, and right, kind of even with the Turtles, maybe a little bit better in a one on one. But sometimes in a one on one, the Turtles have done better. Uh, but the Turtles fight better as a team, and that's kind of how they train, and that's how we see them a lot. Their teamwork come through. Right. But I agree. Really good episode. Yep. Guys, before we jump out of here, just leave a comment down below. Subscribe. It really helps the channel. It's the lifeblood of it. Check us out on Patreon. If you don't want to wait till next week, we have early access. We're out of here.